Good morning. It's uh, almost seven o'clock and uh, we are getting started. Um, just got dropped off at Route 4 by Ken from Camp 43. Awesome place. And uh, another guy that was staying there is right up ahead of me here, Spanky. He's section hiking, going to finish up the uh, finish up the trail on this section. He's from, uh, well, that's interesting. How about this? A hammer hanging off the sign. Don't see that every day. Uh, today, going over Saddleback Mountain, 4,000 footer ski resort. My day starts off with 2,500 feet of elevation climb over about five miles. Uh, so I got that to look forward to. Uh, there is a shelter like 11 miles from here and then um, like a spot with some stealth camping down the hill from that that's like three more miles down. So uh, I'm going to see how I feel. Like, when you get the saddleback, there's then a couple of dips and a couple of other peaks. There's a, I think it's called Horn Mountain and then Saddleback Junior. So you bounce around the top. We'll be above tree line for a while uh, between I think saddle before Saddleback and uh, right after Horn so hopefully and it's going to be really nice today you can probably see there's already sun on my face so um, it's supposed to go up into the upper 70s which is awesome and sunny so might be breaking out the sunglasses when I get above tree line today and uh, yeah we're due for a good weather day aren't we so let me get going up the hill. Uh, I will think up a would you rather. Um, I gotta start remembering to do this the night before, but uh, I didn't. So I'll think up one of those and uh, get it to you in the next clip. See ya. All right, I got a would you rather while well, I hit a little flat spot on this climb this morning. Uh, I'm less than a mile in. Uh, would you rather uh, film festival edition. Would you rather attend the Cannes Film Festival or the Sundance Film Festival? So you want to go to south of France or southwest United States for your film festival? Which is it? Think about that. And I'll let you know later today where I where I want to go. See ya. Alrighty, about 2.4 miles in. Just skirting the edge of a little pond called Ethel Pond. So the ponds continue here in Maine. I know there's going to be a lot more of them. Which is nice. Climb so far has been relatively sane. But it's about to get a lot steeper for the next... Uh, Two and a half miles, I think. So, got some work to do, but so far, so good. It is pretty rooty, as you can see. Not a fan of the roots; they're rough on your bottom of your feet. But making our way every day. Let's go. Alrighty, here we are coming out to Eddie Pond. All these boats here. I had somebody with me to help me lug one of those out. I might take it out for a spin. Oh man, this one is beautiful. Can you hear that? I hope you can, you can hear frogs all over the place. A little view of the other side. Some rock, oh, little fish just jumped right there. Yeah, rock formations all along the bank. Nice one over there. Right there. There's some more, it looks like there's a little island in the middle right here. That looks like a little island. Obviously, absolutely some awesome fish in here. So, pretty cool. I still have the big climb ahead of me, so let's go get at, get after it. Well, I still got a mile to go to get to the top of Camelback. 
uh, our saddleback. But here's the first view above, well, I guess I'm sort of above tree line, kind of in the scrubby pines. I think that's that Eddie Lake that we saw earlier. And uh, hell of a climb, slippery rocks, no rebar. Probably could have used it in a few spots. And uh, I still got 1.1 miles to go. And that's what it looks like. Slick rock, straight up. Let's keep going. All right, now we're really up kind of above tree line. Uh, I guess I gotta go through that last little spot right ahead of me. Uh, still climbing. A lot of room, a lot of, a lot of ground to cover here to get up the top of this saddleback. Blue hazy mountains, reminiscent of the Smokies. Oh, it's sunny and uh, there's a relatively cool breeze. That's pretty nice. I'll take it. Let's go get up to the top of that thing. Alrighty, here I am, top of Saddleback Mountain. It's a little breezy, so I won't uh, chat too long. You gotta head that way behind me to the horn and go over that little spot. I'll show you the views real quick. Pretty cool. Come on with this little rocky thing over here is I'm gonna go check that out, have a snack, and keep moving. I know I'm like five and five point something miles in, big climb, and we are at 4116 feet of elevation. All right, see ya. All right, making my way down off a saddleback. It's a little less windy right here in the gap, a little less. You can see, I gotta go all the way down, all the way across there, up to the top of that mountain. And then I gotta get over down to that one right over there, that one in the foreground. That's Little Saddleback, I think it's called, or South, or yeah, I think it's Little Saddleback. So, Got a ways above tree line here, um, but some work to do. That uh, on a map, this little dip didn't look as daunting as it does right now. And uh, yeah, it drops off right past the edge there, down into there a little deeper than I expected. So at least I see what's in front of me. I know what I got to do. Let's go do it. I'm uh, coming down off the horn and this is how narrow the trail is between the pines. It is like you can barely see the trail. It is crazy thick. Uh, gotta, I'm glad it's dry. Got to push through. See ya. All right, made the saddleback. Here. I called it a little saddleback before. It's still windy up here. So I'll just show you this real quick. side man this last climb was hard really hard looks like I'm going that way now I'm gonna sit down and rest up here in the sun see you in a bit alrighty good afternoon here we are at the Poplar Ridge lean-to um, it's a very small one just signed the log book the log book is like an ancient big thick spiral bound notebook that's like falling apart but saw some folks uh that i recognized that were passed through here like a week or so ago cricket bushman cujo a few weeks before that maybe like two or three two and a half weeks ago so folks i know that are up ahead getting closer and closer i am not staying here tonight it's uh i can't see the time on that sorry three o'clock 
And I think I'm heading down to the bottom of the hill at a minimum, which is Oberton Stream, 2.7 miles. And there's a little road past that that sounds like there's some good uh, spots to set up a tent. So I think I'm heading down that way. And we'll see how I feel when I get there, if I want to make my way up the next hill a little bit or not. I think the next one after that's like another two miles. Um, not sure I'll be up for that. We'll see. So, oh, the bugs are getting bad here. Whoa, I have some. I might put some spray on before I uh, get moving. See ya. All right, looks like I got a water crossing here. It's going to get me wet. This is the, I forget what this is called. I'll have to look it up. But it doesn't look like any, maybe I can rock hop right there. We'll give it a try. I think we're getting wet about like three tenths of a mile from where I want to camp tonight. I got to go over there and up a steep spot to get to a road. So, oh uh, well. I wonder if I can walk up there. Try and get through that. All right, we're going to go see what we're going to do here. Alrighty, so I did that uh, water crossing. I actually took my... Uh, Took my Merles off, took my uh, Darn Tough socks off. I had a pair of Ingini toe liner socks underneath. So kept them on, used my Crocs, and walked across one of the spots right over there. Um, yeah, it was pretty quick. The water wasn't super cold. It was kind of refreshing. So just put my uh, Merles and uh, dry socks back on. I got the wet socks hanging on a little... Uh, Thing off the side of the bag here and I'm gonna go three tenths of a mile up a steep hill find this road and uh, set up tent so let's do the would you rather while I'm sitting here on the side of the I'm kind of surrounded by butterflies I don't know if you guys can see them flying all over the place um, the would you rather was uh, film festivals would you rather go to the Cannes Film Festival or go to the Sundance Film Festival um, I think Cannes is a little fancy for my liking. Uh, Cannes, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, any film festival is probably a little uh, haughty toddy for my liking, but uh, I think going out to, I think it's in Arizona, Sundance, Arizona or New Mexico, one of the two, uh, would be fun. You could get some hiking in and do some other stuff out there. So, And uh, I think Robert Redford's pretty cool. I think he's the one that started that. I don't know if he's still involved in it or not. But um, that's what I'm going with. Give me Sundance and um, let's get up this hill and go set up tent. It's only like five o'clock, but I just don't feel like going any further today. I think it's like 13 and a half right now. So, man, the butterflies are everywhere. Um, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, I'm back. I climbed that super steep, but very short hill and uh, came out to this old dirt road which is where I was looking to get to to do some camping. And uh, look at this. I'm going to camp right across here on a grassy spot over there. But look, there's like a little swimming hole here. There is a waterfall coming down right here. There's another waterfall right here. Now I'm going to go right over there off the trail, get a spot to camp. I'll set up and show it to you before we're done for the night. Alrighty, got the tent set up. I'm going to show you right where I'm going to set up and have dinner. This is how close I am to this little swimming pool. I'm going to go dunk my feet in there. And I'm going to sit right in the sun over here and cook dinner. And I totally forgot that I packed out. Oh, somebody else just set up a tent right over there. That's the guy I probably saw crossing the river after me. Um, totally forgot that I packed out two pieces of pizza from last night's dinner that I didn't eat. So I'm, have, I'm eating well tonight right here in front of this water spot. See you guys tomorrow.